Hello, today I'm going to show you how to use the armatures in Blender, also known as rigging. So the first thing I'm going to do is add an object to rig. Right now I'm just going to add a cube. I'm going to put it onto the rig line, set the origin to the 3D cursor, and then scale that to about 5. That way I have something I can stick a whole bunch of bongs through. But with a character you just use the object that you already have and put your bongs inside of it. The second thing that I'm going to do is add some loop cuts so that it has places to bend. I'm going to turn that to about here. And now I'm going to add the armature. So I'm going to go to add and I'm going to find armature. And you can see it's very small right now. So I'm just going to drag the top of that bone up here to the tip of the top of our object and I'm going to subdivide that a few times you know I'll do it to I'll do it to here and now I take my object I grab my armature hang on sometimes it works better to go into the uh, wireframe mode because then you can see the one that's lit up in yellow is the one that's being gonna be the parent anyway I'm gonna hit control P and hit to uh, parent it with automatic wakes and now if I grab the armature and go into pose mode I can pose this but right now you can see that it's only posing one part at a time I can do that though so you if you use the scroll wheel well used to be able to use the scroll wheel on this okay well anyway I'm gonna show you how to do something else Blender must have removed that at some point. Anyway, if you hit Auto IK, this is over here turned up in Tools, and this is really useful. This way, you don't have to use the IK on an object. You can actually like bend a whole bunch of the bones at one time onto a constraint at the bottom. And if you use the wheel and turn it up and down here, here's what I was trying to find earlier. Yeah, you can turn up the wheel and make it do things like this. Yeah, let me show you how that works. See, I can make each bone do things individually. If I keep turning it up like this, you can see I can just control different sections of it. And then I can also control one singular section. But anyway, that is how rigging works in Blender. This is just a base tutorial, I guess you could say, on just how the bones work. But anyway, thank you for watching, and goodbye.